Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Jude's World. And today we are continuing our series of keeping fit. So I thought I'd take you all with me on a little walk up a massive hill that's just at the back of the Fort Willoughby Bypass. So let's see what happens up here, shall we? Right, so here we are, we're walking up the hill. It's a road that has been closed off since the new bypass was done. So you get a few cyclists coming down every now and again. So here we go. It's a bit on the cold side today, but as you will see out there, the sun seems to be coming through. There's some blue sky over there. Obviously, as time goes on, you can run up there, but I'm not going to do that today because this is only really the start of me doing this today. So we're going to walk up here and we're going to see what happens when we get to the top. Right, so here we are at the top of the hill. This is a train line. Oh, and there goes a train there, I think. That one is going to London. That was a Grand Central train. This is not the train route that I was following the other week. Uh, that one was just a little local stopper one. So that one is the main one that mostly goes to London, that one, or to Edinburgh. So, however, here's the top of the hill. Look at that view that goes back down there. That's a really, really nice view. And there's the other side of the train line over there. So, trains come past, oh, fairly regularly they come past here. However, we're going to keep walking up down here. So, what is good about walking down here is you get to do a lot of steps. What I should really do, really, I should get a pedometer so as we can see how many steps it is we're doing in a day. So, that might be quite a good idea. And so you can just keep walking on here. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk down to that turning there. There's a turning that's coming up. So we're just gonna walk down there for today. And then we're gonna turn round and then we're gonna come back up this way. Right, so this is whereabouts I am now. So there's a sign there for Hambleton there, that's about a mile and a half. And there's a sign up there for Gateforth and Brayton. So that's roughly whereabouts I am. However, now we're going to start walking back up this way. So we can see things at this side now from a different angle. Walking is really one of the best forms of exercise you can get because it's free and all you need is a decent pair of shoes and there's the old saying by putting one foot in front of the other you reach where it is you're going and sometimes in life you just have to keep walking so as you can find where it is you're heading for and what your purpose and destination in life is meant to be there's the view of the bridge now from the other side if you look you can see that and there's the view as well that's coming over from that side as well. If we keep walking up here, we might be able to catch a train when it's coming back. And then we're going to start to head back towards home. And I think that will be quite a good bit of exercise for today. And it's like, I just think in general exercise, it makes you feel better as well. It makes you feel better. Uh, you make better decisions. And all around it's just really good, really. So let's wait here and we'll see if we can catch a train that's coming past at the other side. So here we go. 
Who am I say? Wonder where he's going to. I've lost him because he's that small. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, there he is. Got it. There we are. Alright, so I'm now walking back off now. That was a good bit of exercise there that I've had there. I'm now walking back off home. So even just by doing like a little 10 minute walk with your friends or with the dog or something like that, you know, it all adds up and it all helps. So get out there folks and do some walking. It does you good. Well, I decided to walk back in the end because I was going to be waiting ages for a train and I was getting cold. So anyway, you know, it's been a good bit of fresh air that I've had today. So there we go. One's probably going to come past now. Look, just look at that. One's probably going to come by now. That'd be just my luck, wouldn't it? Of course, another really good form of exercise is to jump up and down on a trampoline like this one. I just ordered this one off of Amazon. It's really good and you can jump up and down like this. You can turn around like this and you can go the other way. Oh God. And try not to fall off, of course, while you're doing that. You're going to do ho, ho, ho. Arm exercise as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 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 nine. a very big hello to Ethan and Mikey and also happy birthday Anthony Thurlow. I hope you all enjoy watching this, this little bit.